Hello and welcome to The Mind of Steel. This is the weekly show in which I, Reynard Wilson, attempt to dissect, explain and otherwise comment on the innermost thoughts of one man. His name is Mark Steele and we do this by analysing all kinds of video material that he helpfully publishes on the internet and in doing so we hope to come to a greater understanding of Mark, his political movement and everything about him, the crazy world of Mark Steele. That's what we're about. And in order to explain it, sometimes we have to cast our eyes away from Mark and look at some of his associates. There's a phrase we all know, clothes maketh the man. It means that your choice of garments is often a reflection of your personality, your social status, your ambitions, the clothes say who you are. I, for one, tend to prefer very simple clothes, reflecting my humble and modest attitudes to life. If you see a woman wearing a beautifully cut ball gown, you might assume maybe she's a movie star, a man in an immaculately cut business suit. Well, he could be a businessman. But what are we to make of a man who wears a Save Us Now t-shirt? Save Us Now is the political party founded by Mark Steele and his brother Graham Steele. If you buy one of these t-shirts, all of the proceeds from that purchase goes to Mark and Graham so they can continue doing whatever they do. Let's have a look at one such t-shirt wearer and uh, let's get to know him. This chap goes by the pseudonym of Modern Day Jester. What's up everybody, Tutu to Modern Day Jester right now and I literally got my t-shirt today from Save Us Now. So yeah, this is really important symbol to represent your beliefs and your political views and also back it up with the actual evidence that's on there, okay? Well, Modern Day Jester is very pleased with his t-shirt. I've never seen a man so delighted with, with such a, a, an ugly looking thing, but I can't deny a man his happiness. Let's have a look at what modern day Jester gets up to and see how he lives up to the standards, the ideals and the values of the Save Us Now political party. We are currently outside to the Auburn City Council. There are quite a few criminals working inside that council and I am going to give them a legal notice to remind them who they work for and that is us. Well, they are it seems that Modern Day Jester is going to bring a portfolio of accusations into that St Albans Council building in the hope of pinning them on the chest of Amanda Foley, and she is the council's CEO. But you're probably wondering, as I did, what is that music? Well, it's Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush, which was, uh, I believe, a, a chart hit for her in the 1980s. But why? Why is modern day Jester playing that music right now? Well, it seems that's just a thing he likes to do. He likes to play music obnoxiously loud in inappropriate places. For example, here is modern day Jester's visit to a local police station. Ah. I'm sure all of those police officers really appreciated the fact that Modern Day Jester was playing very loud side trance as he attempted to hand over a scrawled document containing a, a load of incomprehensible accusations. Everybody loves having loud music played at them, don't they? And I'm sure the St Albans council workers are feeling exactly the same way about the man with the loud Kate Bush music outside of their office. Let's rejoin Modern Day Jester as we see him preparing, psyching himself up for a confrontation with big government. Check your body. And I'm taking this video as evidence to make sure a reminder that she's a criminal and if she doesn't respond in seven days, I'm gonna come back with the police and arrest her. I'm sure the police are going to want to get behind modern day Jester as he rocks up to the, that same police station that he was aggressively playing trance music at. And now he will say, hey, police officers, get behind me. We're all going to head down to council headquarters and arrest their CEO. It's going to work. It's 100% it's 
a foolproof and perfect plan, isn't it? And under 1984, section 24A, we have the power to arrest without warrant. Under 1967, section 3, we have the power to arrest. Under 1971, Criminal and Damage Act, we have the power to disrupt anything that's going to cause us harm. Modern day jester is an alumni of the Mark Steele School of Law. It's a very elite law school that teaches people that law can mean precisely what they want it to mean at any moment. You don't actually have to have studied any kind of jurisprudence or, or litigation. It doesn't matter. The law means exactly what you want it to mean whenever it suits you. Go on, modern day jester, get in there. Serve the council with your mystical batch of papers. I'm, I'm sure it's going to work. I just want to see it happen. Right. Now that's on video. Now I'm going to go in there and serve her. Legal document. It's time to let them know that they will be going to jail. Those are tough words, modern day jester. Come on. Give them your best. Get in there. Serve the council with your scrumpled load of incoherent paper written by an imbecile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to serve a legal document. You can't remove me for serving a legal document. Amanda Foley needs to come downstairs so I can serve this document. Yeah, yeah. They don't want to be on the reception. You can do that probably to yourself. No, 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 no. Like I, that. Yeah, yeah, no, to no, their faces. No, it doesn't. Bro, I'm just, I'm just getting my defence. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go on, modern day jester. Have some guts. You're going to indict the CEO of St. Albans Council for terrible war crimes or what, whatever the hell it is your fruity brain has cooked up. Have some courage. Don't, don't get dissuaded by the kindly old gentleman who tells you to put down your camera and stop being so obnoxious. Fight your way through the council building. This is a legal document to be served to Amanda Foley, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But to yourself. Yeah, yeah, no, no, but I need, I need Amanda Foley. Yeah, yeah. On each group, Could you please get Amanda Foley downstairs, please? Tell her that a legal document, a lawful document, is going to be served by Mr. Motley. Yeah, I'm handing it in. So I, no, I want, I want, I want Amanda Foley to come downstairs. Steve Motley, A.K.A. Modern Day Jester, is in the reception, and he demands attention now. If, yeah, if, I say Amanda's not, Amanda Foley's not going to come down because this is towards her, Amanda Foley. Yeah, yeah. Can I get a receipt, please? I'll get a receipt. Thank you. All right, because because this has been this has been served to St Albans Council. All the laws that you guys are breaking are right in there. All right. What was the point of getting so psyched up like that outside? You were going to demand to meet the council's CEO and hand over your your protestations to her. And now you're just going to leave it at reception? Come on, modern day jester, have some bloody courage. All right, seven days, she's got to respond. There you go. There's the document. All right. Can you not video me? Uh, I'm, I'm oh. doing my best to make sure that I've got defense in law, in law. Yes. This is what save us now people mean when they say we've got the evidence. It's only evidence of their stupidity. Modern day jester thinks this video that he's made is going to be some kind of vital evidence that he handed over his legal protestations. He served the council with this document that, that contained an itemization of all of their illegal activities. But the only thing that's ever going to prove is, is that he's a complete idiot, that, that, that he behaves antisocially and he's disrespectful to the council employees and all the other people who are just trying to get some business done in the reception of the city council. Yes, I'm doing, I'm, I'm, def I'm defending myself, okay? Can you guys stop breaking multiple laws? May I take your name? How about that? You, you get... Have a read of that document. Mr. Motley, it... Steve Motley. I'm going to hand it in, he's going to sign this. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And then you're going to show you. me yeah, yeah. video. I'm not showing it yet. No, no bro. the lady's face. Yeah, said bro, I'm, I'm, bro, bro, look, I'm, I'm, I'm serving a legal document. Documentation. Yeah. Yeah. Modern day jester, also known as Stee Motley, a.k.a. Mr. Motley. Well, he talks a very tough talk outside. Him and Kate Bush showing off his legal document to the camera. But as soon as he gets into a confrontation with the kindly old man who guides people, from the doorway to the appropriate kiosk in the reception 
of the St. Albans City Council main building. Well, he, he seems to be all of a flutter. He just can't handle the stress of delivering a document to the council. I have a read of that document to everybody. All right? And she has seven days to respond. Okay? Steen Motley. Okay? Thank you. I'm not trying to get you. I just want to get this. That's the receipt. All right. I'm not trying to get your faces. I just want to make sure you've received that document. Yes. 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 Excellent. Thank you. All right. Now we've got a receipt. Seven. Steen Motley has his receipt. And he walks out of the St. Albans City Council building, a happy man, knowing that in seven days time, Amanda Foley will no doubt respond to his important set of accusations or face almost certain jailing. And who will be the jailer? Why? Modern day jester himself. He will enter that building with a cadre of police officers who for some reason have decided to come round to his point of view and will no doubt serve him obediently for reasons not specified in this video. Such wonderful magical thinking, which I believe is the hallmark of people who are choosing to associate themselves with Save Us Now. So let's cast our mind back to that question I asked at the beginning of the video. If clothes maketh the man, what do we understand when we see somebody wearing a Save Us Now t-shirt? Well, the answer is a complete blithering idiot. Somebody unmoored from reality. Somebody afflicted by magical thinking and somebody who is an ardent and devoted follower of Mark Steele. Really, really, quite easy now when you think about it. Anyway, well, that's been another episode of Mind of Steel. And I hope to see you in approximately one week's time for even more of this nutty, fruity goodness that is Mark Steele.